following on from our last video, we're going to continue learning about Mari materials. In our last video, we looked at creating our first material in the node graph. In this one, we will focus on materials in the layer stack and how to combine more than one material on a single mesh. I've got a fresh scene here with the default channels Mari makes when creating a project. While I could create some materials from scratch, Mari has a few predefined ones in the shelf palette in 4.5. You can either drag them into the layer stack or node palette. If I drag that onto my mesh, you can see it apply to everything. Simple. If you want to bring in the material you created in the last lesson into a new project, then all you have to do is export it and then drag it from your file browser into your personal shelf in this new project. In our layer stack, you will see a layer with this new icon here, which tells us it's a material. If you click on it, in the layer properties, you can see all the channels the material is giving us data for. More on that UI a little bit later. So we have one material in, let's drop down another one. So now I've got the second one here, you can see it's covering everything again. If you only want it to cover a certain part of the mesh, I can add a mask like with any other layer to choose where it is applied to. I'm going to add a mask which hides everything, flooding it with black. Then using the selection tool, I can pick what I want and right click and go down to fill white to reveal that part of the mesh for this material layer. You can speed that process up even more by having the area you want to apply a material to selected before dragging it from the shelf and it will mask it for you. If I go back to the layer properties of that material, I can turn on and off certain channels of the material, say for example the colour, without turning everything else off. Also each material channel has its own blend mode, giving you an extra level of control. If we open up the node graph, it's created this node called the multi-channel merge node, which links all the channels together at once. On the left, it has the channels for two materials, one being the base and the other being the over, just like a normal merge node. At the very bottom, we have a slot for a mask, which we created ourselves. If you want to do any of this in the node graph, then this is how. You just drop down one of those nodes and you can create your own mask and link up whatever you need to. Whenever I'm using materials to texture with, I find that they're a really great base to begin a new asset with. They set up values for all my channels at once, so I can then go in and add extra details and projections on top of that. Since they're based on tiled textures usually, then they will never give you enough detail and breakup to stand on their own, but they're a much better base than a blank Mari scene. In the next video, we'll discuss how to import and save any materials that you make inside of Mari and the new material ingest menu. Thanks for watching this one, and I'll see you there.